everyone, it's Pamela and welcome to Puffy Books. Today I thought I would bring to you a rather special unboxing as I've just received my copy of the brand new Labyrinth board game that I pre-ordered way, way early this year or possibly even late last year as a present for myself because I was really, really determined to have it so as soon as it was available for pre-order and they said yes, they were willing to ship to England I was like, I want this. Right. Unfortunately, this is actually take two of my unboxing for this game because on the previous video It turned out half of my head was actually cut off. I mean there might be a little bit of my head cut off I don't know if you can see my cat ears there or not, but it was cut off to about here So it unfortunately that footage isn't salvageable and for that reason there isn't any shrink wrap to take off the box itself now Okay so with my edition, hiding the cover picture there, uh, I also received a free poster which features the artwork that is on the actual board, game board itself. I'll just open that up for you there so you can have a look. So hopefully you can see that there. At various places on the sheet there's some other character hiding so obviously there's the ballroom scene there at the bottom there is William the Worm being carried by one of the fairies that Huggle kicks at the beginning of the film towards the bottom it'll be my right your left on the on the video is the doorkeepers with the riddles in favour obviously there we've got the man with the bird for a hat who was in the middle of the garden maze and then dead centre in the middle you might be able to see Toby there or near the castle and there's a few like crystal balls scattered about as well and at the top there is the fairies dancing in the forest if any of you do follow me on Instagram or even if you don't it's okay um, I will take some proper photographs of the poster and the board game itself and I'll put those on there so you can get a better look. Um, my Instagram account is puffy underscore books so it's basically the same as this channel name but with an underscore in the middle so I'll put some proper pictures on for you because obviously the lighting here is not the best. Unfortunately as you might have tell from some of my voice I do have a bit of a cold at the moment so I think having some pictures to refer to will be better for if there's any details on this video that you're unsure of. So that was the free post that came with it. And then the board game box itself, because it's actually considerably heavy this one. So if you are in the UK and you're looking to get one of these for yourself, I will try to find a UK or European distributor because there is a lot of weight to this and at the moment especially with how weak the pound is against the dollar you really don't want to run this to get import taxes or get not necessarily getting the best price for this item that you could. Um, I've not seen it in any of the shops near me yet because obviously this one was on pre-order. I ordered this way before Brexit happened so I, actually, so I think I actually got it at a reasonable price at the time but I would expect this to retail for somewhere between 40 to 65 pounds when it does hit any of, if it does hit any of the UK shops um, I imagine somewhere like Travelling Man which there's branches in I know there's one in Manchester there's one in Leeds and I think there might be one in York as well I imagine they'll get it possibly for Bin Planet as well and then maybe some of the um, more independent tabletop shops and websites like um, I think IDM Games. I don't know if they're still running, I haven't used that website for a while. But um, if they are still running, I would imagine that they would get this as well as possibly people like Amazon too. Because it's the sort of thing I'd expect to pop on there sometime in the new year. So with this one... Oh, you've got photographs of the characters in the film on the cover and then you've got a little clear panel here with the unpainted figurines from what I've seen so far there isn't any painted versions available I think they're done grey so then you can either keep them as they are or paint them for yourself that's the back of the box which shows right 
sets. It comes with five game pieces, play pieces, which is your Zidinous Riding and Motorous, which of course is Ingrid Dog. Um, at the beginning of Labyrinth, the film, you'll actually see him at Sarah's house in her front yard because the Ambrosius is actually Merlin as well. And there's also Jareth, Sarah in her casual clothes, and Ludo. Correction, Hogo. I've already said Ludo. That's the back of the box. So I'm going to take the lid off. You can see me peeking through there. inside there so there's your figurines character cards are in the middle as well as the actual start and for the like paper figurines that you can poke out which are the four cards and oops your dice uh, and then the playing cards that go with the game I'm not going to open these up right now because um, I'm not going to be playing this right now so I'd rather leave everything sort of nice and neat ready for when I do play this one. <laughs> so I'm going to pull these up so you can see it'll look a bit better the detail on them. i put my hand there just to make it easier for you to see. Okay, so there's Lujo. So Didymus on Ambrosius. Like I said, I'll put some pictures of this on my Instagram account as well, so you can get a much better look for yourself. There's Jareth. And these ones, are, they are actually quite highly detailed, like they've included the bone structure in on the back of his robes as well. Maybe that was a crystal ball there. I do actually have the Labyrinth of Funko Pops as well. Um, the one I'm missing though is number 365, which um, doesn't seem to have been made available in the UK. And that's the one where Jareth is wearing his like, ballroom outfit. So if then you're watching this in America, you can actually get hold of that one. And it's, it's not too expensive. Please get in touch because I would really like it and I'll happily reimburse you for the cost of the figurine plus postage. So it'd be really great if someone could help me out and so I can finish my collection of those off. But anyway, back to the board game. So we've got Sarah in her casual outfit. Especially with the billow shirt and waistcoat. I do actually have a Sarah cosplay outfit, but as my hair right now is currently red. There's always probably see the red and the pink bits in it. Um, I thought actually no I'm going to stay in my nice comfy warm jumper because my hair is really going to go with the outfit right now whereas last time I actually wore that costume my hair was brown and longer than it is now so it meant I could use my own physical features more easily for it. <laughs> and then we've got a hoggle there with the detail on the back of his waistcoat there too. <laughs> and there's the, the playing cards that go with the game. So we've got illustrations on one side and in the back there's quotes and instructions. So we go with the card. And it does also tell you which Okay, sorry, which page of the rule book to refer to as well if you're not sure what to do with the card. Let's put that on there. And obviously various dice. But these are just like standard coloured versions. I know in some of the game shops you can get these kind of dice but where like they might be clear with metallic printed numbers on them or some other feature that, so that makes them a bit more attractive to play with. So you know, obviously these will do for, as a start point. I might try and pick up some, some spare dice to go with this because I imagine there'll be a lot of people who want to play it. But I think for the first round I'll try and get hold of some people who are like more hardcore labyrinth fans to play. So then these ones are character cards. 
you've got an illustration of the character plus the instructions as to which dice go with them. <laughs> That's what that layer of the box looks like. is done into our slow replicate the actual book of labyrinth that Sarah is reading at the start of the film and I think she has the quotes from it near the end or she remembers it near the end of quotes and this an advert for a goblin expansion pack to go with the game so I might try and get hold of that one later on if I can Clark and some crystal ball play pieces and noodle pieces at the layers. <laughs> Extra cardboard cutout characters which they go on certain locations on the board from what I've seen of the rule book so far. Um, there are videos already online of people playing this game and um, I did actually look at a couple of those after I ordered it so that's why I'm already kind of aware of what some of these pieces are for so I'm probably not explaining it in the best way in this video right now but if you're quite familiar with the film you'll recognize these images anyway so I won't need to explain who the characters are to you and finally the board game board itself which is quite a thick heavy cardstock and the game features the maze illustration that was on the post that I showed you earlier. Mm. I'm just showing you is the detail of the board game there. So I hope you have enjoyed watching my unboxing video of the, the Labyrinth board game and like I said earlier I'll put some pictures from this on onto my Instagram account so you can get a better look of it which of course I'll repeat the address again is puffy underscore books so uh, like I said I hope you enjoyed having a look at this board game you know because obviously it's not something you're going to see every day and take care and bye bye for now Bye.